Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ray. Guys, got another product here I just picked up from my favorite store, because, of course, Amazon. Guys, I put a link below of this particular product. I ended up picking up a bike stand. Now, I realize this is a piece of equipment. If you guys, if you're a mountain biker, trail rider, downhill rider, uh, if you like to get in the outdoors and you're always taking your bike out to the trails, you're gonna need something portable sometimes uh, to do some t quick repairs, what have you. If you're a family man and you got a, some kids and you got multiple bikes in your household, sometimes it needs to be serviced. It's a pain in the butt sometimes to repair those things ground level, all right? Sometimes you need to get that bike up. You have to spin that wheel. And back in the days, you know, growing up, what we used to do, guys, we just take it, flip it on the handlebars and seats and just do it that way. But back then, we was only dealing with one gear, <laughs> right? So today's bikes are just, you got so many gears, so many components to it. The old days of doing things, yeah, you probably can, but it takes a little longer and it's a little more cumbersome. And plus, if you're getting older like me, I don't feel like building and bending down, all right? It's a pain in the ass to bend down and get back up. That's a God honest truth. So I was looking for a bike stand and I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money. Let's just be honest about it, all right? And decent without breaking the bank. And this is what this is, all right? I have the Sun, Sun Mic, I'm gonna call it, I guess it's called, or Sun Mic, depends how you pronounce it, uh, bike stand. Again, I put a link below of this particular model. And tell you the truth, this was the most inexpensive bike stand that's on. Everything else is like 100 and plus. And for me, it wasn't that serious. I just wanted something to hold the bike up that's decently, that won't break down. So I'm hoping this fit the bill. Uh, we're going to open it up, we're going to take a look at it, and we're going to simply do a quick open boxing, see what kind of parts, put it together, and I'm going to give you my honest opinion if it's worth it. All right? So, again, guys, again, thank you for joining me. Please like, subscribe, and in my book, hit all the damn buttons below. All right? And let's just get into the video. Let's go. Let's just open it up real quick. Again, I wanted something just to hold up my bike. As you see, I have my, my specialized stump jumper here. I had this bike for over 10, 15 years, all right, when um, shocks were just coming popular. So that's how long I had this bike, and I'm getting back into trail riding, mountain biking. And so I wanted to tune up my bike here and also my son's bike. So that's the reason for this purchase. And again, I wanted something that's portable. So I can throw in the truck. So when we, when we go to the trails, I can throw it in the back of the truck. If I need to make any repairs, I have it. All right, so let's put that to the side. And again, it comes well packed, of course. And let's just open up, see what we have here, guys. All right, made of aluminum. We got some plastic seats. We got the, the screws here. Got another feet and first first impression. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't for the for the price that I'm paying for this. Again, it's not your top of the line. It's not a big you know professional stand but for the DIY this may do the trick all right got your manual and a couple of things again most of it is plastic and aluminum got another tube not bad all right so I'm just gonna throw this all to the side just open it up so these are the components what I'll do I'll put a little screenshot as I pulled this together below in this video, so you guys can follow along on how we put this together. But to tell you the truth, first impression, it doesn't, I don't think, I, I think it'll, this will do. I think it looks pretty good. So guys, let me, uh, this is what we have. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reset up the camera and let's just get this put together, all right? 
so stand by. All right, guys, we're gonna get into this right now. For step one in doing this, all right, make sure you have all your parts, which I pretty much have everything here. So I'm just gonna put this to the side right now. First thing you're gonna take is this part here, part A, all right, which is, I guess, the main component. All right, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna attach the feet. All right, this is your feet, and we're gonna attach it to this part, the end. So I guess the best way to do it, just hold it upside down, all right? And right here, they give you a bunch of screws and an Allen key to get this installed. So let me just open this up real quick. All right, and this comes right out. And simply you're just gonna put these plastic pieces in the hole of the legs. All right, they give you four. Oops. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna put it in. Now, I wouldn't suggest trying to bolt it down. I guess you want some play to it. So just let's just get it started. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm just gonna get this installed. Okay, guys, I got the feet installed, very easy to do. All right, next thing you're just gonna turn it over and you're gonna spread out the legs, which is very easy to do. As you can see, you have this red piece right here. This is your handle to unloosen it. This collar, all right, so this collar is biting down on this tube. So I have to just rotate a few times to help you extend the legs. Now with this feet, as you see, you're just simply gonna adjust it to get it flat on the surface that you're on. So that's why you're not gonna tighten it too. You're gonna make it snug, but you're not gonna tighten it. So once it's snug down, there's a little indication. I don't know if you'd be able to see it. I'll probably try to take a picture of it um, that you're gonna push this part of the stand down to it, to it meets. And that's pretty much the locking position, or the stop position, I should say. And all you're gonna do is just take this part here and just rotate it to get it tightened so it doesn't move. Now, this seems, it's a thick plastic. I wish it was uh, aluminum because if you tighten this too much, I'm this might fail. That's one thing I don't like about this, this device here. The plastic, I wish it was aluminum, but again, for the price, you know, you can't be too picky. You get what you paid for. But oh, it is a nice thick plastic, but I just, I'm not as confident. I don't know the durability of this. But again, I gotta get back. It's a cheap one, and I didn't want to, want to spend a lot of money. So, so let me just uh, keep it real, right? Overall, so far, it looks like it's well built. All right, all aluminum, plastic, thick plastic. Doesn't seem too cheap. It'll do the job for a DIYer. All right, so once we got expanded, let's go to, that was step two, bringing down the legs. Step three is we're gonna add this collar. All right, now, same thing as before. All you're gonna do is just gonna unloosen this a bit and you're gonna take your collar and insert this. I'm not gonna dial it in yet, just yet. Just wanted to get this all installed. But if, if I have to say anything negative just yet, it's just this collar here. I don't know the durability of it. So I might try to replace this eventually, but right now, um, it's gonna do the job. All right, number four, uh, we're gonna take part C, which is this co component. And again, let me uh, see if I can readjust the camera to show you exactly what I'm doing. Stand by. Part C, very easy to put together. Really no, no qualms at all. Part C, you're simply gonna install into this opening. 
and I believe just common sense you'll have this part up here facing upward I would believe assume so yes so just install it here you could untighten that area I'm gonna tighten that down and that's it all right so that's done that's done next thing we have to do is just add the two tray what's nice about this guys there's a little magnet here all right that's a nice touch so you put your screws in there uh, it's gonna stay in place so that's definitely a nice touch I like that feature I didn't realize that guys I'm telling you uh, right now my first impression I haven't used it yet but for the price that I paid for this and the features that you're getting I don't think uh, you can go wrong now you got three of these screws they look pretty much the same but there's only two locations so simply you're gonna put it between yeah you, you're gonna put it below this area here all right really don't want to put it up here because this is gonna adjust up and down so I'm just gonna lock it here and so you, you, you don't need any tools other than the Allen keys that they give you to install this so what I'm doing I'm just gonna start it off now one thing I would say just make sure when you do put this in and you need ah, you need to adjust it just make sure you got it low enough so the tray doesn't affect your turning so I'm just gonna lower that down a little bit I'm gonna bring that back up so just just keep that in mind all right and tighten it just go you know a few turns each side so it goes in evenly and at the same time just keep in mind I want to make this portable so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna bring these legs up I want to see how far I can bring it up before this engages and that's pretty much where I want to bring so that's fine so as you can see I can totally fold it I don't have to re readjust my two tray so you want it pretty much in the middle and that's ideal because again I plan on taking this with me when I start go trail riding I have it in the truck and I'm able to service my bike on the scene easily that's it all right that's it throw that in there so we got that installed and that's it I'm looking right at it guys I think that's a quick install now what I like about this one here this gives you a part here to keep your handlebars from swinging these straps here goes opposite of each other one strap goes on here at this end okay and the other strap goes on the other end all right by looking at it you use this strap go around here and you strap it down and this part here will go towards your handlebars so that's how that operates all right so I'm gonna put this over here just off to the side and so let me bring my bike over and let's see how this thing works all right all right and as you can see I have an aluminum frame so it's, it's light but it's not that light so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna bring this down just ever so slightly all right guys and what I got to do here now I just have to tighten this part so it doesn't spin on me guys I'm gonna tell you the truth I like this it's uh what I like about it I shouldn't say very it is sturdy for my usage all right let me see if I can bring it closer and let you show what I'm doing all right let me show you how it's set up guys as you see I have a uh, I like this because it tightens it in all right uh, just you, got, you just got to make sure this is tightened down so it's not pivoting but you're able to angle it and I think the really plus about this stand that, that you have four legs not three so wherever you put your bike at you have that leg offsetting the weight up here so that's definitely a good design got my bike up I wanted this because I have to adjust my gears 
and trying to do that on the ground or using a, a box just wasn't cutting it. So that's the reason me picking this up. As you see, I got a 3-8 uh, gear ratio. And so to dial this in properly and to dial this, having a stand helps you with that. All right, so I'm able to now, as I adjust my gears, it's off the ground, I can dial it in and it just works a lot better having a stand opposed to working on the ground. All right, so let me show you. I definitely love the two setup here. So you're able to put your tools down or screwdriver may be right here. Easy to, to grab. Having this, again, this here, you're simply just gonna put the little rubber around this and around your handlebars and your handlebars will be locked in if you need that that feature and oh excuse me guys let me pick this up put this back over here all right put that right there and again it's light enough it's portable so if you guys are going out to the trails all right to the mountain do some downhill and you didn't need to take a stand to help do some maintenance brake work whatever it may be i think this is an ideal it doesn't break the brink it's very inexpensive and i at the time it was the most inexpensive bike stand you can find on amazon and i think it's well worth it all right for the DIYer who works on their own bikes or you got kids and you got a bunch of bikes and you don't want to take up a lot of room get this all right you're not gonna be disappointed the only downside if i can say to this are these, pl these plastic pieces here i wish they were aluminum all right i don't know how robust it's gonna be but if you're not hard on your stand and you pay attention to what you're doing they should last i'm gonna give it a thumbs up i'm glad i have it so what I'm gonna do, I got a bunch of parts that came in so I can tune up my bike, so I can start hitting the trails again. And I'm gonna call this a wrap. Guys, if this was helpful, please consider like, subscribe. Again, check out the filler link below, list it. And that's pretty much it, guys. All right, so I'll see you on the next one. Later.